Hey guys, it's me, GS, and let's play Loom once once more. All right. Now I'm aware that in the previous video, my voice was a bit overpowered by the music of the game, and I must apologize for that. However, I fixed the sound, so let's get on with it. So, as we might recall from the last video, we opened the sky and. We opened the sky asunder, which cast a bolt of lightning upon, upon the tree that was there. And then that tree went to the dock. So let's head to the dock. Huh. Alright, here we go. This is our ride up the island. Let's go! Come on! Come on, you! Whee! Dramatic music! Let's go! And off we go! This music once more! <laughs> and off we go! With seagulls following us! They're not swans! Yeah, but they'll have to do. So now you might you might were wondering why we had to get another note. After all, we could just have opened the sky with E C E D. Well this is why. Water sprout, or just a tornado. Does not want to get any closer? However, E E F C. Is that what I have? D E F C. Yes, folks. D E F C is the spell for things spinning around. So let's cast the inverse. Ha And no more tornado. See, this is why we needed that other note. Because without it, we could not have vanquished the tornado. Aha! And now you know more. Oh. Yes, folks, we already have the note G. But what's that over there? Let, let's go see. It's probably something interesting and wondrous. Like popsicles. Or, you know, maybe it's just a city made out of glass. Huh. Let's go there. Hmm, what's here? Stranger, welcome to Crystal Guard. I am Master Goodmold, thirty-first in the noble guild of glassmakers. Oh, the glassmakers—that explains a lot. Who have I the honor of meeting? My name is Bobbin, Bobbin Treadbeer of the uh, noble guild of weavers. Guild of weavers. I don't remember having a weaver visiting us before, even if we're right next to you guys. I see now why your fabrics are so prized. The clock you wear, you wear is unlike anything I have ever beheld. Remarkable workmanship. Wanna touch it? Crystal Guard's wisdom includes many legends concerning your guild. One is particularly strange and amusing. They say it is deaf to peer beneath the hood of a weaver. Oh, really? That's not good. Can this be true? Hmm. Don't know. Nobody ever tried it on me. Ha! Ah, an unclear reply if I ever heard one. 
we value clarity above all else. But fear not, your legend is safe with us. Imagine my relief. By the way, did you happen to notice a flock of swans passing this way? Swans? I've heard nothing of swan sightings. The city's been so busy of late, I doubt if anyone had time for bird watching. However, our guild catalogs offer a fine selection of binoculars, telescopes, and other precision optics that you may help you in your search for swans. Thanks, I'll browse it through it later. Maybe. I'm sure you'll be delighted. <laughs> Look around as much as you want, Weaver Treadbear. But remember, you break it, you buy it. Oh, so what is this? Oh, it's a grave. Software, the wife of Lucent Bottle Blower, here attained final clarity. Oh, okay. Near the spot, Lucent Bottle Blower, founder of the noble guild of glassmakers, attained his final clarity. Well, this is boring. Let's fuck this shit up by opening graves. Haha, <laughs> there's no way this can go wrong. Woohoo! Whoa. Mine, I ought not to try that again. Let's not try that again. Alright, so let's go here. Woo! Oh, people are talking. Let's listen to their conversation because we're like that. I can just make out what they're saying. I trust your excellency is pleased with our progress. Oh? That depends. How far ahead will I be able to see? Eh? At least four hours. With luck, maybe six. Six hours? I thought we agreed to eight. Each of the spheres is unique, Bishop Mandible. Oh, Bishop. It is impossible to predict how deeply this particular sphere will look. I need to see at least eight hours ahead. Eight hours! See to it, Master Crucible! The customer is always right. Come on, you old fart. See ahead. Huh. I never heard of such thing. Oh god, where are we now? Is this a maze? Will we be stuck here for four episodes? Will I know the way to get out but I'll just play with you guys? Oh, so much questions. Oh, and now we're there? What's this? <gasps> Le Gasp? Crystal? There's a little crystal bell in here. Oh, okay. Wonder what it is. Oh, okay. Hmm, teleportation. My head is swimming. Well, that's not good. Ooh, what's that? Calice. Chalice, chalice. Nice! Never seen glass sparkle like this. It is not glass, a weaver should bear. Uh -huh. This uh, chalice, chalice was carved from the single crystal of diamond. Diamond? Impressive, indeed. But I thought you were glass makers. Indeed, behold the Crumax conundrum. It was wrought by the hands of our founding member, Lucien Balblow, whose work once filled the museum. Oh, we saw that guy at the graveyard. Ha <laughs> ha. Three centuries ago, our first city was plundered by a dragon, who we will not meet. The greedy beast emptied our museum and treasury. Okay, we will meet him. Even Bowles Blow's great masterpiece, the first scrying fear, which we will probably not see, was lost. Or oh, we will see it, probably. Fortunately, the conundrum was loaned to the guild of 
winters at the time. Oh, it is our only remaining example of Battle's Blows transcend genius. Genius. But why is it made of diamond instead of glass? We don't know. That's the conundrum. And yes, people, you might think this is important. It's really not. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in this game that makes you think, hey, maybe there was something more that they wanted to do with it. Yeah, I think there was. It's a shame that they didn't br brought this game to its full potential, but oh well. Eh. So it goes. Alright, so. This city is mighty fun, but you know. I like going in the woods, breathing the fresh air of the trees and r rabbits and deers and stuff like that. But not bears, because bears are dangerous people. Yes, even if I never encounter one. And don't tell me I'm racist. You know as well as me that bears don't have the same civil rights as us. True story, bro. And anyway. Oh my god, this forest is so peaceful. There's probably no one here except hippies. Because you know, hippies are bad people. And oh, talking about the devil. Remember that C G C Whoa. To our realm. <laughs> Sneak? You call that sneaking? I heard him coming two hills away. State your business with the Guild of Shepherds. I'm looking for a flock of swans. Swans. Right. Swans don't live in the, in the woods, kid. Say, you don't suppose that this is the wizard Fleece told us about, do you? Hmm, he's dressed kind of like a wizard doesn't look very powerful to me. Oh, you. Come on, wizard, show us your stuff. Prove you're a wizard, and you're not, or you're not getting any farther. Oh, yeah? You want to show, huh? Uh, well, sadly, we don't have any spells that might be interesting for them. So, you know what? Screw it, guys. I don't want to see you again. You guys suck too much. Huh. He's leaving. Not much of a wizard, eh? Better luck next time. Come on, Phyllis. Alright. G C G C. Yay, invisibility! And before you say, hey, GS, why didn't you use invisibility thingy on them? Well, I will answer to that. Shut up! Actually, no. If you try to use that on them, which I won't show because it doesn't show much, it doesn't work. And they say like, oh, you can do that on us because we're hacksaws or hippies. But yeah, that was the Guild of Shepherds. And as you might see, they were douchebags. All of them are douchebags. I'm telling you, man. I know this stuff. I know these things. Anyway. What's happening up there? <laughs> well, there's only one way to know by going to here, which I assume is the way to there. Ha, <laughs> the power of assuming. Let us go. Oh. Uh, hey guys. What's up? N no? Look! Who are you, Colonel Scum? How did you get up here? Well, I rang this little bell, see, and... Sorry, kid. This is a restricted area. That means no visitors. Hit it, flute. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> So, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. However, 
Yeah, we're not supposed to go up there. However, remember how we just got the invisibility spell? Oh, this m maybe there's something to do with that. Mm-hmm. So, you guys think you're so funny? Uh-huh. You workers? Well, how about I cast a spell on you guys? Oh, you like that? Oh! That felt right. I think it worked. Maybe. Who knows? I wouldn't. I'm not Bobbin after all. But he's Bobbin. That's what his mother told him. Actually, he never met his mother, which is kind of sad when you think about it. <laughs> Crystal power. Crystal power. Oh. Did you get a load of that bishop mandible? Swishing round here like he owns the place. What should the cleric's one with the sphere of scrying anyway? Eh, who knows? They're really sharpening that thing. That sight. Oh, oh. A, A, A. A, 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 J. Ah, well. A, 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 G. Sorry, J is the... Ah, anyway. So that would be the cut. Tread. However, we don't use it at all throughout the game. However, we'll use the spell to teleport ourselves. Woo! Alright guys, see that sphere? It's time to do Paradox. Oh yes, Paradox. Let's look into it. Oh, the future. Oh? Oh! Oh, well... Oh, looks like that spell did something. Hmm. What's next? Oh, fire? In a cave? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this one? Oh. Well, that looks like a powerful spell. Probably, probably the last spell of the game that we will use since, you know, use the last note. What's next? Oh, nothing new. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what that does. There's only one way to find out, folks. Only one way. Let's go! Don't you wish you just had that? A bell that makes you teleport? You know what? I'm looking looking at this place and that would be one badass design to do in Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft, you say? I played my share of Minecraft in my youth, thank you very much. The hell am, who the hell am I talking to anyway? Alright, you, the viewer. Remember to subscribe. What? Nothing. So, let's go back to the hippies. Because, you know, I feel like that's the right thing to do. And I feel like we will never, ever come back here in the game. Or maybe we will, who knows. However, I just want to talk to you guys about something before we go. The fox is that? I've been pondering for my whole life, and I never ever had any idea of what those were supposed to be. And you can't even go toward them. My guess is they wanted to do something with that also. However, they didn't do it. <laughs> Seriously, this game could have been much more awesome than it is right now. But no! The big wings didn't want to, probably, because they're cheap, but fat ass. You know what they say about fat ass? They're fat. And they're asses. Oh, uh, yeah. You heard that, right? Anyway. Hi, hippies, we're back. Hippies, hello. Oh, hi. 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 And hi to you, too. He's back. 
So are we. Drop your pants, what? No, no. Alright, so you shepherds think you're so cool? Well, how about you taste this, which I never ever used before and have no idea what it will do. Transform into birds, you. Wait, me? Whoa. Hi! War Dragon now, what the hell? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what fun. <laughs> what fun indeed. What the hell was that? Oh, huh. weird. No? Oh. use that yet. But, huh. Hey! What's the big idea? You got my sheep all upset? Now I've got to round them up again. Come on, you guys, move it. Actually, I didn't get that, so be right. Actually, no. Let's look at it again. C D E A. C D E A. And that would be the waking spell. Yes, yes, I know. Sorry about guys to show you this again. I didn't have time to write it on my piece of paper. Because, yeah, while you cannot die in this game. You can be stuck at one point, because if you don't remember what the spell is and you need it... <coughs> However, since we got that spell, that won't be the case. Alright, let's leave that shepherd alone and go explore more! Actually, you know what? I think we're going to take a small break here in the land of the shepherds. And wow, this plane is green. Oh, look, a graveyard. <laughs> well, you know what I like to do to cemeteries? Oh, yeah. Bad ideas. That's what I like to do. There's no way it can go wrong this time. Perhaps we shouldn't be trying that again. And we will not, because this is the end of this video. I hope you like this retro game. I know I might be a bit more agitated in this video than the last one. I hope you don't mind. And with that, I hope that you will have a nice day, a shiny day, or a good night filled of, you know what, with your partner. See you guys in the next video.